Have you ever tried to defeat Ito in Hoi 4? Just for this to happen, Benito Mussolini deposed and Italy splits into the civil war. This has probably happened to you before. Italy splitting randomly into two countries, one that you fight against, which is still fascist, and the other one, which is non-aligned, called Reno del Sud, which becomes your puppet with really, really high autonomy, as you can see right here. There's three, or actually four ways, with which you can prevent this from happening, and today I'm going to show you all of them. First, you have to figure out why this happens in the first place. Well, it happens because Italy unlocks the power balance, and it becomes active, basically. And to unlock it, they have to finish Triumph in Africa focus on historical focuses. Now, while this depends on how quickly they defeat Ethiopia, usually they won't finish this before November 1936. So the first way is very simple, you have to justify them right away, right after the game starts, and defeat them as soon as possible before November 1936. You can increase your time by land leasing or sending volunteers to Ethiopia, making sure they capitulate later, this allowing Italy to finish the focus. But I think you can only do this as one single country, and that's only Germany, you'd have to go for the Anschluss, then uh, create faction in Ethiopia, getting a war goal against them, because they get a coup, and then you could simply attack from Austria and Yugoslavia into Italy. Well, since this works for only one out of those 81 countries, you could use the second method. The second method is a lot harder to pull off, but you can do it as every country at any given time. For that, we'd have to know why this happens. I mean, we know there is balance of power, but why does the civil war happen? I declared war on Yugoslavia, and I'm just gonna let them walk over me. As you can see, every single time we lose non core state, the balance of power moves to 5% to the left. It's usually to the right. But if we lose a core state, it moves 15% to the left, and it starts moving left constantly at the pace of 0.5. Eventually, motion of no confidence in the douche. And at that point, it goes enough to the left that we end up in the civil war, where we have to choose which path we want to go for. Anyway, if we were the enemy country, there is a way we can counter this and make sure that it doesn't happen. While fighting Italy, we'd have to do a couple of things. First things first, we have to avoid from taking their non-core states because they're pointless. We don't need to take them to capitulate them, like avoid Libya, or if you're Yugoslavia, try not to take Zara. And the second thing, when taking their core states, we also have to be really careful. Or actually, we don't have to take them at all, and we shouldn't take them at all. Instead, we should avoid the important victory points, for example, in the state of Piemonte, that's Genoa, because if we take it, we control the state, but if we take Torino, it doesn't matter, we don't control anything. And basically, we have to manually take every single province that's quote-unquote unimportant. Since these do contribute towards capitulation, but they don't give us control over any single state, which means the balance of power stays in place. Here, Italy would eventually look like this. Now keep in mind you don't have to worry about Sardinia, you can take it if you're like France, but they're, they're not gonna spawn in there, don't worry about it. Also if you want to grab access to Sicily, which has lots of victory points, and you don't have a big navy, you have to take Regio Calabria, which means you have to take control over one state. You can easily check number of states you control by going for occupation tab, as you can see I only have resistance here, which means I control one state. So after setting all up, your Italy should look something like this. Anyway, here's the next thing you have to do. It's a really simple concept, but it's really hard to do. You have to place divisions around every single victory point that Italy controls, which gives you control over some state. And you have to time them perfectly so that they all align. So to do this, you first have to find which one takes the longest. Let's say the longest one takes 2 days and 20 hours. After that, you have to find the next shorter one, which takes, let's say, 2 days and 16 hours. You have to wait 4 hours to pass and then start walking those divisions towards that city. After that, waiting for the next one, how many hours it takes less for it to be taken, until you reach the one which takes the shortest period of time. Anyway, if you perfectly align every single one of them, what will happen? Italy will turn to dark green Italy, but there will be no Reino del Sud. That's because they can't spawn anywhere because they control every single one of their states. And they can't spawn in Sardinia. And that will give you the entire Italy to tinker with and do whatever you want with. Now that was a bit complex, but that's simple compared to the next method. For the next method you need to have a puppet. Let's say we have puppet Yugoslavia while playing as Germany. You know what, I'm gonna release Austria as my puppet here as well for a good measure, so we have two puppets. Here's the idea behind this. Once you start a war, you just attack from your puppet's territory. You don't have to. Once you start a war, you attack from your puppet's territory. Although you don't have to. You just have to make sure that your puppet controls the states. Once again, what will happen is Benito Mussolini's deposed event. Anyway, what will happen is, as usual, Reno del Sud will pop up, but 
This time they're going to be puppets of Yugoslavia. That's because Yugoslavia is controlling the territory, most of it at least, or any other puppet, it doesn't really matter. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, up until this point you should have dismantled your own faction, because it's really important. If you dismantle it, that means you can start justifying when you're double puppet. And you're at war with major country, which is this Italy, so it wouldn't take that long either. And that's it. Once you capitulate this Italy, you can take whatever you want, you can take some states, you can take their colonies, it doesn't really matter. You can even take the navy if you want. Once again, as I've said, it doesn't really matter whatever you do in this peace deal. Anyway, what happens after this peace deal? You have your double puppet right now, which you're justifying against. You can declare war on them. Now be careful, you're at war with your own puppet, German Yugoslavia. You're gonna fight against their own divisions. But what you can do is request forces. And once you do, now these divisions are on your side. And here's the best part. You don't have to even capitulate this Italy. You just have to capitulate Yugoslavia. Also, one thing you'll notice right here, you're at war with yourself. So what you can do is go back to the main menu and load back your latest save file. And now you won't be at war with yourself. So once you take out Yugoslavia, that's it. You now have Yugoslavia in the PZ and also Reino del Sud. So yeah, besides these ways, which I mentioned, there is actually the fourth way. And that's to turn off the buy bottle on DLC. Or to play on older versions. Why is this division trying to walk over the sea? Look at this, they're trying, they're trying, but they just stop. This is silly. All the things you have to do and set up just to capitulate it to you regularly and to like annex them and take control of their states. I think this should be an option whether you want this puppet or no. But yeah, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.